because uh, so the, so this uh, so this day uh, actually the actual exact date I have to admit is actually uh, uh, a sort of a created one because I can't remember which day it was I actually wrote the darn thing I was probably thinking of it all through February but anyway so we're c celebrating this but in particular what I suppose what happened to it so I wrote this um, and uh, because. Uh, I wanted to push the idea around, and somebody suggested a memo would be a good idea. I wrote it 20 years ago. 20 years ago, nothing happened. Uh, as people have uh, mentioned, a year later, actually, I, the, 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 uh, this is March 18, 1989. There's a, the version that I have has March 1989, comma, May 1990, just to rub it in. That if, you're, <laughs> if you're reading this now, actually, you could have read it a year ago. But um, the... So it was actually in September of the following year that things started to happen. And they happened because, uh, because uh, uh, Mike Sandel let me. And what he let me did was not do the World Wide Web. What he let me do was buy a Next machine. So the order in which it came in, he said, yeah, okay, let's buy some Next machines. I agree they need things. Am I going to need a way of testing it? So, that, that was, so it was done. He didn't really give me the nod for the World Wide Web, except he gave me the wink. <laughs> okay, we're going to test the next computer. Okay, and why not invent, invent some? He left me up, uh, up to me what program I decided to, to, to test it on. So, looking forward now, the web now is different from back then. Back then, 26 servers uh, well, at one point. Now, there are 10 to the 11 web pages. 10 to the 11 is roughly, I understand, the number of neurons in your brain. The advantage, the problem is that the number of neurons in your brain is going down with every year, and the number of web pages is going up with every time somebody fills one in and to, uh, makes a blog. So the web is very large and complicated. The brain is very difficult, in fact, to understand. We have a science, cognitive science, where people from different disciplines get together psychologists, biochemists, people uh, do functional MRIs. By, uh, all get together to study the brain, and they're, getting, they're making tremendous progress on figuring out what some of the bits of it do and how it works in general and what its properties are. But in a way, the, the brain is a sort of machine with different parts. The web, we didn't design it as a machine with different parts, it's just stuff. And, all, and what's happened is emerged, and what turns out that it's a big scale free system, that there are communities of all different sizes, there are emergent things. Systems which turn up of all different sizes that have a dramatically scale free um, uh, so, uh, science dis distribution. And well, now I can make a sort of an announcement of the World Wide Web Foundation. Some of you have heard about it. We're, we're now in the process of putting together a foundation, the Web Foundation, webfoundation.org. Uh, we've got some seed funding, to, uh, and we have various people, uh, a few people here, Rosemary Leith is on the board, there are various people here you can contact if you're interested in it, and we're all interested in addressing more broadly the, that the web should serve humanity. It's going to be largely volunteers, it's going to be philanthropic funding, funding from foundations, it's, uh, uh, and uh, I think it's really important. Okay, so the last thing I'd like to say is just for all the people that I knew, all the people I worked with, all my friends, some of whom here, a lot of them, and the overlap of colleagues and friends was very, very strong. Uh, it was great. Thank you very much for just uh, for being around, for supporting me, for, for being there, for, uh, for doing cool things, for discussing interesting things over coffee, for laughing about the names I chose for projects, and re reviewing them, and trying them out in, uh, in cases. Uh, I'm just, it, it was amazing then, and uh, I wanted to say, use, I wanted to specifically really come to use this opportunity as a chance to come to CERN and say thank you. Basically, the, the idea, uh, uh, when we discuss the, the format of the event with Tim, we thought we do something about the past yeah. and we do something about the future. And asked to uh, pick some people who uh, represent uh, some of the future initiatives uh, that will happen on the web. Ready in the cloud. This continued and the cloud currently looks um, like this. So a lot, lot of more data sets and altogether it's now around 4.5 billion pieces of information in the cloud. And there are 180 million um, data links connecting records in different databases. 
we really didn't have time to be surprised. There was originally the load, the number of hits on this machine, it started off as 100 a day, then a year later it was 1,000 a day, and then a year later it was 10,000 a day. And so, and in fact it was a very steady growth. And that's just the, no, that's just the hits on this, on this machine as a, ser as a server. When, and, and the machine that replaced it as the, as the load got higher. And so just, it was like a continual Big Bang sort of thing. It was just happening a factor of 10 every year for this server, but then meanwhile, server, there were more and more people getting clients, more and more people making servers. So no, it wasn't, it wasn't that it, no, 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 it wasn't really a surprise also because I was always worried that it was going to stop. I was worried that it would do this for some reason. The web's going to evolve uh, in some ways that we, we, that we know and we can push and in some ways that we don't, well, that we can't know now. The, so things which are very important at the moment, the W3C for example has a mobile web initiative which is, uh, has been making sure that it works as well as possible on mobile de devices. This is important not only because people have things in their pockets in the developed world, but also in developing countries. Uh, it really can, can be the first way that you can get internet co connectivity to somebody who can use it to help themselves uh, in, in develop, help their village develop economically, uh, to get health get in, uh, healthcare, and clean water and things. Sometimes it can be useful to have a little bit of connectivity, it can be part of the bootstrap process. So that's um, one of the very important areas. The 30th of April 1993 is the date on the document with which CERN, the European Particle Physics Lab, gave up the right to charge royalties for World Wide Web technology. Well, I have here the uh, first proposal. Uh, it's entitled Information Management, a proposal. And it was published by Tim in uh, March 1989. Uh, this was a document that doesn't mention the World Wide Web. The word web is not in here. It's 14 pages long and uh, it was meant to be read and commented upon by Tim's boss, uh, Mike Sendel. But what's even more interesting is the summary that Tim's boss gives of this document here on the top uh, of the first page where it says vague but exciting. Our primary repository of information, changing and improving the way people interact and communicate.